This property doesn't currently have any earth bonding installed. It has an earthing terminal which is connected to the supplier's incoming electric cable and it is earthed from there but that's the only place where it is earthed. It's a good idea to check that you've got earth bonding in your house whenever you're doing any work. If you're doing a big job and it means that you can start running a couple of cables under the floor and you can get a good route back to your consumer unit, it's an extremely good idea to put in some earth bonding if you haven't already got it. So in this property I'm currently installing earth bonding to the main incoming water pipe and also the gas pipe. I've already done the gas pipe and I couldn't really film that, it was not a bad position but we can quite easily film this one. So I'm going to show you how to connect the earthing wire which is a 10mm green and yellow cable to an earthing clamp and we're going to connect it onto the incoming water supply pipe and then that connects to the main earthing terminal which is near the consumer unit. Uh, this currently is a job that you can do yourself uh, under the Part P rules but you do need to check that to make sure you've not changed the rules. Uh, it's quite a simple job, the hard part is actually routing the cable. Uh, because we're completely redoing this kitchen it's an ideal opportunity to do something like this because we can virtually hide it anywhere. So we've wired the actual cable from here to the consumer unit but we've not actually connected anything yet. So now I'm going to make the final connections. So the first thing you'll notice is the cable is way too long but we're not going to bother about that because all we'll do afterwards is we'll just coil that up and we'll just leave that out of the way somewhere and then at a later date if that was to stop being used and you'd install the new one like we have over here you can then quite easily swap it over and you've got plenty of room and your cable won't be too short. What you don't want to do is join this cable, it needs to be in one continuous piece. So if you look at the incoming water main you'll see that it's lead down there and then we've got a lead lock connector, a bit of copper, stop tap and then some more copper. So we're going to connect it just above the stop tap there. Uh, you don't want to be connecting this to lead pipe really because the clamps don't work well on lead pipe. And it's also important when you use the earth clamps that you don't try and connect them to a flexible pipe. On some gas installations you do get a flexible pipe you cannot use these on flexible pipe. You can only use clamps like this on a, a solid pipe like that. So before we fix the clamp, we're going to give the pipe a good clean. And to do that, I'm just using a scotch bright pad. So that is now reasonably clean and we should get a good connection on there. So the next thing to do is to prepare the earth clamp and you'll notice that it comes with a warning label like that and you need to pull that off there. And then you need to remove the screw. And then you need to remove the locking nut from the screw. And then you can put that label on the screw and then you can put the locking nut back on. So once you've got your label on your screw like that you can then put that back into the actual clamp and you only need to screw it in by a couple of threads. So you're going to need a decent pair of pliers now to pull the clamp tight when you put it round the pipe. So now I'll take the clamp, put it round the pipe and then bend it and pass that through the slot there so that it comes out the other side and then you need to pull it so that it's tight Once you've got it like that, you can then put a pair of pliers on there 
and you can then pull the clamp until it's tight. So now that actual clamp is tightening up on there. But in order to hold it there, you're going to need to tighten this screw. Which we'll now do with a screwdriver. Once you tighten that screw, it should tighten the clamp up further. So that's now nice and tight, so you can now let go with the pliers. So you can see that that clamp is now extremely tight on there. So now what we need to do is tighten up the lock nut that's now at the back of the label. And to do that you're going to need a small spanner or a small pair of adjustables. And that is now tight. Now all we need to do is remove some insulation from the end of the wire. And then we're just going to split the strands like so. And then we'll undo this screw. And then we can just push the conductors down the back of the washer like so. And then we can just tighten that back up. So that's the earth clamp connected at this side. So now all we need to do is go and connect it to the consumer unit. So this is the main earthing terminal which is underneath the consumer unit. That's the main earth going into the consumer unit. And down here is the main earth going down to the supplier's cable. So we're just gonna undo these screws here, which is spur. And then we're going to strip off enough insulation. And then we're just going to push that into the earthing terminal. And I took a bit too much insulation off there, but it's not a problem. We'll just nick a bit off the end. It just looks neater. And now we just need to tighten those two terminal screws. And we can now clip the cable so that it's nice and tidy. So that's how to connect the main earth in to the water. And we're also going to do the same to the gas. I've already done the gas, but I'll just uh, take it around there now and you can take a quick look at it. So this is the main bonding that I've installed at the gas meter. You can see that it's on my side, which is the consumer side of the meter. And uh, I've connected it using an earth clamp as we did with the incoming water pipe. And I've also made sure there's plenty of extra length on that wire. If the gas company ever come out to change the meter, if they wanted to, they could pull that wire up by an additional half a metre or so. So now what we need to do is actually connect that at the main earthing terminal.